So I wanted to give my two cents on the Oxygen Builder and why I think um, developers would like this product a lot because I see kind of a friction between people who think that you should hard code everything on WordPress and people who are team kind of page builders, the people who are, are, are in favor of page builders. And the other day I made a post on the WordPress uh, subreddit and I'll link it in the description, but somehow it got into the conversation of people kind of fighting for, um, you know, whether you should use page builders for, for client websites or whether you should hard code everything. And I think Oxygen Builder kind of saw these two sides and they decided to kind of bridge that gap. And so, and so we have Oxygen Builder. I think it's unfairly compared to the other page builders like Elementor, Divi, Beaver. Um, and the reason I say that because it just works in a different way, right? So, um, so yeah, I'll go over that, um, you know, in a little bit. But I just wanted to preface this by saying that this is my favorite builder today. I think it's the most developer friendly. And, and yeah, I'm gonna go over five different things that I think make it um, the number one builder and make it different from the other page builders. So, so yeah, the first thing is obviously page speed. And you can see on my screen that I have uh, my business site. You'll see that the mobile score is, is 93. And if you compare this to Elementor, Divi, any of those, it doesn't even come close to this on mobile. I haven't seen one screenshot or one page speed insight score um, or report or whatever that has a high mobile score for someone who's using Elementor. I just haven't seen it. And if I'm wrong, I guess you guys can show me, but um, usually you have to use like accelerated mobile pages or something like that in order to have this score high. And, and then you have the desktop score. So I have an 88, but if I run this a couple times, it'll probably get up to, to somewhere in the nineties. Um, and then obviously I have to fix a couple things, but that's besides the point. I think the speed blows out um, any other page builder on the market. And I think um, the team at Oxygen, um, SoFly, they have on their YouTube channel, they have some page speed scores that, that compare everything, that they compare um, you know, the amount of scripts that Oxygen Builder has compared to the other ones, and they compared how fast it loads and all that stuff. So I'll probably put a link in the description too so that you guys can check it out and see why so many people rave about you know the page speed of, of Oxygen. So the second thing is um, the templating system. And so um, without getting too technical, um, and I'll leave a link to, to, this, to, to this page in the description. So basically this goes over the templating system and how Oxygen works. So, so quickly, um, usually themes um, or page builders rely on themes and the information inside that themes folder in order to display all the content. So you have your templates and then you have all your scripts that are loaded. But the problem is that in all these themes or all these builders, um, a lot of scripts are just loaded every single time. So I know in the Divi theme, um, if, you, if you're whatever, whatever page it is on all pages, the Divi theme scripts just load. And that's a problem because it slows down your entire site. And then uh, the page speed scores wouldn't be that high. And so Oxygen takes a different approach and they actually allow you to create and visually build the, 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 the files that make up the template system within WordPress. It gets a little complicated, um, but for anyone who kind of wants to see a glimpse of this, this is the main template that I have on my current site. And you'll see that you can build the header um, as, as a portion, as a template, then you have um, a reusable post. I, I don't know why it's called this in my site. It's actually the footer, but then in here you have the inner content and anything that has inner content, you can edit with oxygen. And, and yeah, I think that's a beautiful part about it. There's a, there's a different way in the way that this works. And so that's why I would compare it to something like Webflow because Webflow just allows you to visually build your code. And that's what I feel, um, oxygen is doing the, uh, I, I forgot where I heard it, but I heard somewhere that the team SoFly, um, they took inspiration from Webflow because it's such a superior product. And I read somewhere that um, that the developer, I forget his name, but the main developer from Oxygen, which is the owner, um, the same guys from WPL Export and WPL Import Pro, um, they just are big fans of good, good code and good, good um, WordPress products. And that's what they did here. So, so kudos to them. Um, so yeah, now that we're um, speaking about the whole templating system, it makes sense to talk about the dynamic data and how it differs from all of the other builders. And um, there's a comparison here, which you can which you can see, um, which you can see here on their page. I'll also link it. But basically, what it says is um, that 
Oxygen Builder has a couple different things that make it different. So everyone has the ability to embed dynamic data in templates. You can create your own archive templates, your own single page templates, your product templates, all that stuff. But what they don't have is the ability to create your own conditions and your ability to create your own repeaters. And this is important because um, in Elementor, for instance, if you want, if you have a custom post type, you can add the post widget that they have and, and have a custom query or whatever have you to query whatever post or whatever information you have in that database for that specific post or template. But the repeaters allow you to customize it yourself, right? So if you have, if you want to customize your post, the way your, your post works, like the, the, the single post on an archive template, you can do so um, in, in any way you want. And it's kind of similar to the way Webflow has it as part of your collections list. So you can create a collection and then style that collection list in any way you want. This is the repeaters and I'm a huge fan of that. And there's obviously uh, custom fields integration and toolset integration, which is pretty cool. Although you can't uh, create repeaters natively using tool sets, which is a bummer, but I hope they'll have that in the future. I also want to mention that I think Elementor, Beaver and Divi might adapt to this in the future. And then when that happens, I think that it'll make these Elementor, Beaver and Divi a little more viable. But for now, Oxygen just, um, in my opinion, blows them all out of the water. So, so yeah, um, there's that. And then the next thing is, is the WooCommerce Builder. And I think that is also a game changer. So I know a couple of other builders have a, a WooCommerce builder, a product page builder, an archive, a product archive builder, but none of them have it to the extent that Oxygen has it. And so um, if you look at this link that I also put, you'll see that they have their own dedicated product builder. And then you can see all of the product elements that they have. It's just different than, than any other ones. They don't have as many options, so you can really customize your product page. And if you think about it, you can create, and I'll probably show this in another video, but you can create your own uh, WooCommerce product page and you can you can literally add any one of these, these elements anywhere on the page. You can have the product title as part of a hero image and then all the way on the bottom, you can have how much stock that particular product has. And you cannot do that with any other page builder. And then in addition, you can build all of the, all of the other uh, pages that come um, as part of uh, a WooCommerce. You can build the account page, the tracking, the checkout, and the shopping cart. That's a huge plus. Um, so yeah, when when you can when you compare this feature to other builders, um, every other builder is lacking behind. And I'm sure they'll adapt in the future. But um, points uh, for the Oxygen Builder. And then another point, the fourth point that I wanted to highlight is the Gutenberg integration, which is the client mode. So, and I think this doesn't get enough credit like I think it should because with the, the Gutenberg editor and what it does is when you build a site on Oxygen, you can enable the Gutenberg mode or the client mode to where you can create a role for your client or an account for your client and you can hide the Oxygen builder and them have, and you can have them only edit the site using the Gutenberg block editor, which is pretty cool because then they'll be able to only edit the headings, the images in a way that won't mess with the Oxygen Builder and you won't have your site potentially mess up or anything like that. And I think that's pretty cool because it does a couple things. It prevents your site from, from being messed up by the client. And then it also allows you to, it acts as kind of a selling point, right? For, for maintenance or something like that, which, which I think that's huge in the WordPress um, kind of space, which is, um, you know, if you build a site with, with Oxygen, for instance, you're more likely to sell a maintenance package. Um, I kind of go over this in more detail in another video, but yeah, this is this is a game changer too, and I, and I really like that. And then the last thing is the pricing, and I don't know why every other page builder besides Elementor prices uh, their their product or their tool like this, which they have a normal price for a site, then they have uh, another version that allows you to create more sites with that page builder, but then they also have an agency version. And Oxygen has an agency version for, I think, um, $169. Um, yeah, $169. But that doesn't, at least to me, that's too cheap. The value that this tool gives, I would pay this $169 over and over and over, probably yearly. And the only people that I see doing this is Elementor. They require for the pro version, the agency version, I think it's like $200 or, or something like that annual fee. And 
I'd pay that too. I'm a customer of that same package. And um, yeah, if Oxygen is not doing this, I don't know why, but I'm sure everyone else feels the same way. It's too cheap. Um, I've seen actually the same comments across the entire internet, but I'm not complaining. I bought this and I have a lifetime version. So, so cool. I guess I'm grandfathered in. Um, but yeah, that's my two cents on Oxygen. Why I think it bridges the gap between developers and people who use page builders and you can use it for to build high, high quality websites. So, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. And if this video provided any sort of light on oxygen and any sort of value, please like and subscribe. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.